Have you been wanting to add something new to your house or maybe take something old and turn it into something new? We have Lavon Falbo from Lavon uh, Decor, uh, Lavon Vintage Decor. <laughs> I always get them two together. Well, you're here with us today and you're going to show us how to transform this lamp into something beautiful. Well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope my client thinks so because she has a few of them and we're doing sort of a farmhouse makeover mm -hmm. in her entire downstairs. And my design aesthetic is really all about uh, budget and repurposing mm -hmm. a lot. So um, we try to take anything that we can find and to give it a makeover. So I love it. these are actually, um, they back in the day were expensive lamps. Really? So um, would you think in the 80s? Yeah, probably yeah. the the pink and the yeah, the brass. Yeah, the pink. That's what it reminds yeah. me of. Yeah, they need a little help, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of help. <laughs> so we started with the shade. Okay. And really, it's pretty easy. You just start by tearing off this, and then you need a trusty glue gun. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just a word of advice for any DIY project. Get a good glue gun, like a heavy duty one, because okay. those little bitty ones really just they don't know. help you at all. Okay. So, the other thing you need is a burlap table runner. Mm -hmm. Very farmhouse chic. Yes, a lot mm -hmm. of burlap in farmhouse. Mm -hmm. And also, um, we have a lot of whites in this makeover, mm -hmm. and we have black, so we're playing a few colors. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my Dixie Belle colors. Beautiful. It's, I do yeah. love this color. Vintage duck egg. I love Vintage it. Vintage duck egg. Yeah, so. Voila, oh. and you take the paint and you basically paint over all of the parts wow. of the lamp, even the brass. It just sticks to the glass. We do have a product called Slick Stick, which mm -hmm. helps it adhere to the glass, but you really don't need it. The paint actually cures within 30 days, mm -hmm. so there's, it's not going anywhere. Wow. Um, and then basically I started at the bottom of the shade mm -hmm. and just glued that around because that's the biggest. Okay. Uh, diameter mm -hmm. and then just glued worked it up here you can okay. embellish it if you wanted mm -hmm. if you wanted to do a trim on it or if you wanted to uh, stamp or stencil on the lamp itself mm -hmm. you could but in this case we have a lot going on in the room so we're just yeah. kind of keeping it simple well I see you kind of bunched it how mm -hmm. this is kind of bunched up is that you did that on purpose I mean it mm -hmm. looks flawless you can't really it. tell where it ends and start you mm -hmm. know what I mean um, yeah, I just tried to pull it out evenly, mm -hmm. you know. So another thing that you can do is totally, uh, now it wouldn't work with this lampshade because it doesn't have the support uh, okay. inside, mm -hmm. but when you have a shade that has those in it, you can do a skeleton shade oh. and really just strip it of everything okay. and that's kind of in vogue right now you can rust the wire on it if right. you want but an Edison bulb also updates okay. any lamp. Yes and like that is that. very very farmhouse right. style. So we're sort of doing industrial farmhouse I so that really that. plays in. I love that and so I just want to make sure I understand too a, a skeleton Lamp you said shade. a skeleton lampshade. Does that mean there's nothing around there's it? There's nothing on it. But it's it, just it's the frame of the lampshade. Okay. And if you want, when you tear off the old fabric, mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but you can leave some of that. A little bit of the fabric on. You can adhere crystals to it. Oh, I love to do chandeliers yeah. and things like that. So, um, so that's always fun. That so. is really cool. You can. It's so incredible to me to see how you can take something that looks like this. We're in the 80s, yeah. right? <laughs> and then you bring it into some kind of farmhouse chic. I, I mean, I call it chic. It's just beautiful. Well, thank you. All right, so let everyone know how they can get a hold of you. Okay. Um, you can contact me on um, on Facebook or Instagram at La Vintage Decor Altoona on Facebook, La Vintage Decor on Instagram. Our store is at 1410 11th Avenue, and my phone number is 934-8928. I also have a YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube that channel. You, if you please subscribe. It's La Vintage <laughs> Decor, and we have all kinds of DIY stuff going on there. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.